so we're currently staying in the Servitor Servitor Waikiki Servitor <laughs> Waikiki it's just a quick little walk around the hotel now just to show you what's here and then we'll do restaurants later on so to the right as you come through there's an arcade section obviously you pay for these it's not part of thingy you also got like a big chest set there it looks quite good doesn't it babe okay then. so there are five blocks here isn't there a b c d and e yeah we're staying in block d they're all the same they're all circular all got a big circular staircase in the middle to the right is the actual bar area where you get free drinks if you're all inclusive as we are this is where the nighttime entertainment is which is actually up on that stage it gets very busy if you want a seat you get a seat very very quickly Let's carry on going around as we turn on to the left here as you will see all the deck chairs get taken very quickly in the morning there is a lot of deck chairs but there's a lot of people here so if you want a deck chair get down early do the same as everybody else even though it's stupid reserve your thing there's an actual hot tub facility there and some more deck chairs as you can see as i said each tower is a complete circle just a quick look at the hot tub there's a snack bar which obviously I will show you later on and carry on walking around here talking over the music some of the actual activities that are being done each day as you see, you can see, as I told you, it's November the 30th at the moment. It's been very warm out here. Very warm. Just a quick look at the downstairs entertainment hall. Hopefully you can see what it's like in here. It'll be very dark, so you can't go to see, unfortunately. Just a quick look at the downstairs, we call it the underground theatre. And believe me, it is a theatre. This is where the shows are on at night. As you can see, you've got a fantastic bar area. Loads and loads of seating area. The shows we've seen have not been that good, but we've only seen two of them. And as you can actually look, this quickly have a look around here and see the, so this is the actual stage, which you can see is quite good. There's an actual play area for the kids over here, so while you're watching the shows, you can actually see what's going on. Pool tables. Video machines. Pinball machines. So that's just a quick look up where the entertainment is at night. This is the main restaurant where they do the actual lunch, dinner and breakfast. As you can see times there. And they've got a lovely menu here. So you can actually see exactly all you want. Less dinner, less lunch. And there's quite a lot of stuff as you can see there. So we're currently going past the third block, block C. As I said, every block is exactly the same. This is the one by the actual pool. I'm trying to over talk the music, otherwise we will get copyright. So carry on. We're coming up to block D now. This is the one we're actually currently staying in. And there's a little shop here, isn't there, babe? 
Yeah, nice little shop, which we'll have a quick look around. So if you need any of your little stuff, you don't have to go out of the hotel, you can actually go into the shop. I'll quickly just show you around the shop if I can. As you can see, it does one or two little things that you might need. So on our walk, we've just come across this, and we thought to ourselves, oh, it's like a photo opportunity thing, but it's not. It's an actual ride, you actually pay money and I don't know if it rocks from side to side or what. We're not going to find out though, are you? Yeah. Wow. That is our actual apartment. Just there, I believe. If you get a ground floor apartment, you probably have to pay more, but you do get your own garden area, which looks very, very nice indeed. This is part of the actual restaurant on the left-hand side there. So we're just wandering around the back now. And it's a pretty big hotel. And there's quite a lot here. They do a lot of activities around the pool and everything. As you can see, they've actually got a sports fields. I should imagine you get the actual footballs and everything from reception or ask them. They're very helpful. They will show you around. But Nice basketball, football, netball. Yeah whatever you want pitch so carrying on from them this is all around block D at the back of block D area there is a children's pool just about outside the children's play area there is a drinks facility where this one's not going and there you go <laughs> to operate it you, you have, have to, to put use. your wristband onto there so we got there yeah we got there okay then let's have a quick look around the kids pool with not trying to film any children a lovely little children's pool with sun land just behind me very nice isn't it for the little ones right and you're away from all the adults and just enjoying yourself there's a little park beside there for the little ones Adventure. All children must be accompanied by their parents in here. You can see the Christmas theme. And this is where they do like little activities. For your little ones. Oh. Hmm. oh, that looks good. It's like a little flight deck. Let's carry on around to the gym. Volleyball court. If that's what you want. You've got one. We're now around the last of the blocks. This is block E, as I told you before. They're all completely circular. All set the same. Downstairs, you get a nice garden area. Just a quick look from outside of the gym. Going down, there is a lifeguard. He was not there today, but he was there all day yesterday, so he's probably somewhere else around. Just have a quick look around the pool. As I said, it does get very busy, and you need to get up early to get a chair of your choice. In November, well, coming up to December now, the sun puts a load of shade in different parts so you see people in blocks moving around from one place to the other yeah so you've got something else to do but you always do find a chair there's always a chair somewhere but as you can see that is the actual pool area loads of chairs a nice big pool and it is warm enough to swim in December and Cal just asked that man, what's that? You get pool towels around there. So that is where you get your pool towels from. So you don't have to bring your own towels down, as we've been doing. And just like that, we're back of where we started. 
and have a quick look at the mega chess set. Nice place to just come here, sit down and have a coffee out of the sun for a little while. Um, cappuccino, please. Quick look at the actual drinks. If it's got a tick, it's all inclusive. If it hasn't got a tick, you pay the price. So as you can see, cocktails are all ticks. Local wildlife. Right, my wife just found out that you can actually have all inclusive or all inclusive premium in this hotel, which you pay for a little bit extra. If you want one of the apartments on the ground floor with your own like garden, I've called it, patio. yeah, patio area. Patio. Yeah, if you email them two weeks before you actually come out here and request one, likely if it's not full, you'll get it. So, a little bit of information for you. When you actually check in, they actually give you this little map. As you can see, this is where you check in reception, block A, B, C, D, E, sports areas, bars. You can actually sort of freeze this, have a quick look. And it just shows you roughly what the hotel we've been walking about as. So this is Tower D, where we are staying. When you come into Tower D, same as all the other towers, there's two lifts, elevators, there's a staircase, but as you can see they go up and 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 there is no roof, just a complete circle. And we're staying in 248, room tour coming up. So to get in your room, you have a wristband which you actually push into that and it opens a room. We are staying in room 248 in D block. So as soon as you actually come into the into your room, it's just a standard room. On our left we have the bathroom which has air dryer, sink, vanity mirror, Lovely, powerful, really hot shower. Really impressed with the shower. And obviously a toilet. But no, that's quite, that's the actual bathroom. Pretty nice, pretty spacious. Does what you need. You have air conditioning here. Again, this is all part of the actual um, price of the hotel. You don't pay extra for this. I know some hotels charge you extra for air conditioning and things like that. When you actually enter in the room, you have another full length mirror here to see yourself when you're getting ready, yeah? You've got a lovely comfortable setter here, yeah? And a TV. Carol's called me back because... I just found something. She's just found this, gone, what have you found? Oh, there's more storage here, you didn't realise it, Ellen, no. that. Yeah, more storage. Yeah. I can reorganise Okay then, yeah. right, we've been here a day and we didn't even know that. Okay, over here, you have another closet, a safe, big enough to get a laptop and everything in there, so you can actually see, I've left the safe open, so that I can actually blog it. Power socket, with light switch controls. Two of the smallest beds we've probably stayed in in most of our hotels. Very comfortable, but... What's that? We, yeah, we, we do prefer a double bed, don't we? Yeah, yeah cause the, the, yeah, the set seats are going kind of away. But they're comfortable, they they're do the job, yeah? Okay, then as I said, there is, um, I'll get on to what I say, a wall light there, another power socket, telephone, and TV, as I've said, English channels, quite a lot of them. Not actually English channels, Spanish channels, but it's got Spanish writing underneath and English dialogue, so you can actually watch, but you, you were not going to watch 
we're as I said we're on the first floor this is our view from our hotel this is our little balcony which gets the sun in the morning it's quite nice you also get a towel rack a must have um, yeah a must have a must have yeah and the pool area is over there that's coming up pretty soon but this is basically the hotel room we quite enjoy this hotel room we found nothing wrong with it at all it's been very quiet as i said air conditioning has worked nice and yeah it's been quite good isn't it yeah you don't get an iron you don't get an iron yeah you don't bring an iron but, but yeah you can get something else. yeah well we'll carry on anyway but that's the actual hotel room that we're staying in just a quick look to show you what it's like and rest of the vlog coming up just another little look at the pool area first thing in the morning after a rainy night after a very wet morning time for breakfast cheeses and meat normal breakfast And even donuts. My first breakfast of the day. The coffee is delightful. Just what you need first thing in the morning. So what did you go for? You just went for a continental breakfast yeah, this morning, continental, yeah? Yes. Jam, cheese, ham. Cheese ham. Butters yeah. and well, I've actually finished mine. It was as normal, very nice. Second breakfast of the day. Nice warm croissants, some rolls, cheeses, and meats. And a bit of tomato, isn't it? And a bit of tomato as well. <laughs> Enjoy. Got always have a donut to finish off the meal. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a little look at lunch, yeah, babe? So, just have a quick look what's on offer. Start with the cakes and desserts, as it's the first thing you come to. I have no idea what it is. Hello. Hello there. Time man that cooks our food for us. Just showing you roughly what they do. Sauces. Rice and pasta meal. Just roughly showing you what they do. This is the lunch menu. Salads. Can get your beers and wines. Coffees and juices. Let's sit down. and get something to eat. I'm going up, get myself something to eat, yeah? First look at what I got. A sort of meat, pork I believe. That's chicken. Mm -hmm. 
fish fingers, <laughs> chips, and some salad. <laughs> so my second plate, carbonara sauce, spaghetti, these little things what I thought was fish are actually, they're like cheesy cakes, yeah, and it's a bit of a like a... That is, I don't know what it is. Like a, like a stew. My wife says it's ratatouille. But anyway, and a nice rosé wine. What do you think of it so far? Very nice. Very nice? Yeah? Where are you off to now? What did you get? I went out with ice cream. Yeah. But I ended up getting... I think it's like a, a chocolate mousse. This is layered cake. And some melon. Right. Well, I shall go up and see what I've got. Oh, and you put sprinkles on it. So let's have another little look at the desserts. So this is my dessert. Obviously, I've got more than what I wanted because it all looks so nice. I swap, yeah. You want to swap? Yeah. What, what do you want? You want a piece of mine? What do you want a piece I of? I ice cream. I need to have that. What ice cream? That. Yeah. No, it's fine. <laughs> have a bit of it. I can now see why my wife wanted the ice cream. It is delightful. Mm. Well, that is lovely. But the cake is just as good. What, what would you call this? Like a mousse. Oh, ah. mm. Which is nice. Oh. Yeah, I'll say skip dinner or lunch. Go straight on to dessert. <laughs> Very nice. And it doesn't it look nice, babe? It does look nice. <laughs> Enjoy lunch? Very nice, indeed. Shall we have a little sit by the pool? Yeah, yes. let it all go down. Yeah. And just relax and enjoy yourself. Yeah. Let's catch some rain. So, if you're lucky to be out here when you get a shower, come outside your hotel room and look at the rain. Because as I said earlier, there is no roof. Great though, isn't it? Mm. We're going to sit on the patio and have a drink. Yeah. And on your patio, you don't get no water, do you? Wow. And it's nice, it's warm, yeah. isn't it? And it makes a change. It's, it's, it's so crazy. It makes a change. There. Yeah, and you can see they're getting the restaurant ready for dinner. But no. We do like to be on holiday and see the rain, at least one day, but no more. Dinner, coming up. So, let's go see what dinner's like. So a quick look at the dinner. What's on offer? Salmon, vegetables, fish, soup, chips, not much more selection from lunch really but lasagna, garlic bread, Very friendly people here. Yeah. Pizzas. Vegetables. More meat. Fish. Fruit. My first plate of the evening. 
some sort of steak, more meat, vegetables, crab salad. So you went for soup first of all. I did. What sort of soup is it? It's like a stew, but it's um, I, I like an ox house. Sort yeah, of. Oh, like yeah. Yeah. That's pretty nice. They've got nice meat. There was a carving station over there. The man didn't want to take his picture though, so oh. I got to do it. It's a shame. But quite a lot of meat on this menu, isn't there? Yes. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Look at that. Meat in there. And that was just one scoop. You mm. really wanted more. Yeah. Soup looks quite nice. I must say, this steak is delicious. Really, really nice. It looks nice and juicy. So much flavour into it, it's really yummy. And your soup was nice? Very nice. So you went up to the carving station. I did. And, and it's pork, isn't pork. it? No crackling on the side. Oh, well, lovely, it looks nice. And then obviously, I'll get a piece of your steak because you said it was nice. The steak is really tasty, really, really tasty. Yeah. And a little salad to go with it. So you just tried my steak, or well, my steak, the steak that I tried. And I totally agree with you. It is so tasty, it's tasty isn't it? tasty and it's moist. Yeah, and, and it's... And it's yummy. And did you try the... I've tried the pork. pork. The pork is just normal. Just a normal pork, yeah. Normal. The mushrooms are very garlicky. Yeah, and the, the vegetables have got I such a nice taste. I think, oh, my vegetables are really, really nice. It's only going through Yeah. So here's plate number two. Some salmon, salads, and sauce. It's very nice. And again, another mixed salad, potato salad. But yeah, let's tuck in, see what I think of it. So much food here, haven't we? Shouldn't really eat in the daytime, should we? Just eat breakfast and dinner. dinner. Yeah, because we come down tonight and we wasn't really going to eat anything, was we? No. But as soon as we tucked into it, just wanted to carry on. So you, just, you ain't going to go up no more, are you? I'm having ice cream. You're going to have an ice cream. You got your ice cream, I see. Got your ice cream? Yeah. And I you, think I've chopped the sauce on it, but it's all gone down. It's gone down the bottom there, yeah. And one thing, coming down to dinner, Dinner runs from what time is it? Is it half six or seven? No, half past six to quarter to ten. Yeah, and it's better to come down a little bit later, isn't it? So everyone seems to run down here straight away, and it's hard getting the seat that you want, isn't it? Like you, you don't really want to sit next to other people, sort of thing, because they do have like lot. They're very, very close together, the seating, yeah. But if you come down a little bit later, we leave it about sort of an hour, 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 hour and a bit, about eight o'clock. And then we come down and you get seats. And then as the time goes on, you get less and less people. But been impressed with the dinners here, haven't we? Very nice. Yeah, yeah? very nice. For an all-inclusive meal, remember, we we're actually marking this as an all-inclusive meal with an hotel, a cheap hotel, yeah? And it's been pretty good, yeah. isn't it? And that steak. That was really nice. In America, I paid a lot of money for a steak that tastes the same as yeah, that. That steak was really um, nice. Yeah. Yeah. And the salmon was gorgeous as well. But anyway, that's just a little bit of the opinion. Obviously, there's a full review coming up at the end of this vlog of what we thought here, which we do on there last night when we going away, just in case anything. Yeah. 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 But so far, pretty happy with it. When you come out of the hotel, if you head to the left, that takes you <laughs> straight down to the actual beach, doesn't it? Yeah, and you can walk right along the beach into the Clare the Eagle. If you go the other way, you come to the nearest shops, which are just down here. As you can see, we had rain last night, but the sun has come out this morning, and it's very warm, and it's the first day of December. So about 100 metres away from the hotel, down that road, you come to this little complex here. Doesn't look much this morning because it's been raining and looks a little bit dirty, doesn't it? Obviously once the sun comes out it looks a lot prettier, doesn't it? But here you've got an actual supermarket, supermarket where you can get everything you really kind of want. And 
you can see, supermarket. Next door to that, you've got the Jane store, which is selling all the things that the tourists eat. Dresses, etc, etc. A little restaurant just there. And if you was to literally go down this road here, so that is the hotel we're staying in. We walk down this road here, you take the first turning where it says casino, straight down this road here, and that takes you to the Yumbo. Yumbo. And then the Centre. next one, Centre. Centre. Oh, that one is Sitter. Oh, Sitter. Yeah, which is literally straight down there, probably about 10 minutes walk. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? You can almost see it, it's sort of like just around about there. So actually in the hotel complex itself, there is a rental car place where you can actually rent out cars. Current prices as of December, 2023. Okay, quick review of the hotel. We've been staying here about just under a week. Yes. Yeah, very nice hotel, very clean, very friendly people. Um, food's nice, pool's nice. Everything's nice, entertainment, really nice indeed. Negatives, very packed. <laughs> very busy, very busy. Yeah, um, get, like getting a chair around the pool, people put their towels out almost straight away in the morning and you, you do struggle to find the best seats around the pool. You can find a seat. You can find, you can find a seat, you can find a seat, Not but you do. Not quite yeah. close to the pool though. Um, dinner times, if you go down as soon as it's open, it gets very packed for about one and a half hours. We suggest you come down for any meal, leave it about one and a half hours before it really opens. Yeah, that's the only problem. Yeah, yeah negative. I can say yeah. the restaurant um, area. Entertainment at night again. People take up the chairs almost straight away in front. It's not of enough the seat. chairs to, yeah. to facilitate the yeah. people that are here. But that's our negatives. The positives. It's a very cheap hotel, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The location, fantastic. Twenty minutes from the beach, maybe fifteen minutes. 15 minutes from that centre. Yes. What centre? What's it called? Well, you've got the Yumbo, Yumbo. centre and yeah. the Sita. And the Sita centre, where most of the nightlife is actually found. It's just along the road from actually um, shops, as I just showed you. And there is a shuttle bus. There is a free to shuttle bus, yeah. To the beach. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But about three or four times a day from the hotel. So, no, set location perfect. Friendliness perfect, meals perfect. Lovely all of it. Yeah, it's very cool. nice. And, and would, the value we got it for, yeah. we, would, would we, we can't we, expect it. Would no. we come here again? Yeah. We yeah, would. We would definitely come yes. here again. Yeah, we found nothing more of it. In fact, people we've been talking to have been coming here sort of eight times and things like that. So it, it can't, can't be. It bad. can't be that yeah. bad. It Everyone can't be that bad it. at all. Yeah. But no, very friendly hotel. Nice location. And you are outnumbered a little bit because you're at yeah. it's English and a few Scottish. Yeah, it's not, mainly yeah. it's um Yeah, so if you like lots and lots of English people, probably not the hotel for you. If you like seeing lots of people from around the world, as we do, perfect. German, yeah. Swedish, Finland, Dutch, Dutch, Scottish, Irish, everybody. All friendly, all enjoying themselves on the lovely holiday. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye. If you can subscribe, please subscribe if you've got something out of this. Yes. It helps us out a lot and if you watch our other videos we're going to do one or two videos around Blair the Ingles. Yes, yeah. we're going to do the Yumbo Centre we, yeah, we? yeah, we're going to, as I said, we're going to do a few of them. But um, thank you for watching, thanks for following along. We know a lot of our subscribers watch a lot of our stuff and really appreciate Good that. Good on you. We Good really on do, you. yeah. And um, yeah, so thank you and see you soon. Bye-bye.